Daily versus cat. How do you build your adjusting business to take advantage of the best that both have to offer? In this video, I sit down with Gene Struther and Keith Kraft from the IA firm Mid-America Cat to talk about how to get started in daily claims and how this dynamic company run by adjusters for adjusters is forging ahead into the next decade, starting now. This is Adjuster TV. Hey, it's Matt here with Adjuster TV, and for the best tips and tools for getting on the first call list as a cat property independent adjuster, subscribe now. Punch the bell notification and you'll be on your way. And thanks to ES Lane from YouTube who says, I would like to say I absolutely appreciate all the work you're putting into these videos to help people learn from your knowledge. Thanks again. And thank you for watching ES Lane. In this video, these industry veterans talk about where Mid-America Cat came from as well as where they're going. And along the way, they'll also talk about getting started in daily claims, as well as the annual Mid-America Cat Conference, which I've been to two times. Take it away, gentlemen. My name is Gene Strother. I'm the Vice President of Communications and Resource Management. Yeah, I'm Keith Kraft with uh, Mid-America Catastrophe Services. I'm Account Manager slash uh, Operations Manager for Mid-America. Mid-America was started primarily as a catastrophe company working catastrophe events around the country and we realized pretty quickly that there was a need for daily operations, working daily just everyday business claims. Mid-America, it's named Mid-America, our offices are actually in Mobile, Alabama, <coughs> and um, but it was founded in, in Iowa in 1980 mm -hmm. and so uh, you know we've been a part of every major storm since that year. Um, the original owner built himself a nice business and made for the company a respected name, well known in the industry. But as, as time went on and he reached that age where he was kind of pulling back, um, you know, the customer base began to wane and dwindle. And both Zach and Stacy, our owners, had worked as managers at various times and in various capacities with Mid America. And, uh, being adjusters and businessmen, they always had, you know, they always had that dream of building a company by adjusters for adjusters. And that's really what I think has made this uh, venture and adventure uh, something unique in the industry since uh, six years ago when, when they uh, took control, took the reins, bought the company, and we went a new direction and actually have been one of the most dynamic, fastest growing companies in our industry since that time. Okay, we'll get back to the video in just a second, but I wanted to let you know about my new free masterclass, Advanced Time Management, How to Close More Claims in Less Time. When I first got started as an adjuster, way back before they invented the wheel, I got Xactimate training, I got the scoping training and the, and the construction training. And when I went to adjuster school back then, this was how the instructor taught us about our scheduling and time management. He said, and most importantly, you have to have good time management. Okay, now we're gonna talk about windows. He was totally right, of course. Time management is the most important thing. I don't know, maybe tell me how to do it? In spite of doing everything I could to prepare to go on my first CAT deployment, I had zero time management skill. And I spent a lot of money on that course. So let's talk about time management. Click the link where you're watching this video below for dates and times of this free live masterclass and get signed up. I hope to see you there. You know, it seems like everybody wants to be a daily adjuster until the cat hits, mm -hmm. you know? And they want to be a daily adjuster because they want to work when they're at home. Um, there's some avenues for new adjusters to get, to break into the cat world through the daily side. Um, and, you know, I would say, first of all, you know, obviously you got to get licensed in the state you work in or the states that you work in um, daily work sometimes can require you know a lot of drive time a lot of windshield time where you you know with a cat situation cats are ge geographically uh, confined you know uh, where daily is everywhere you know everybody that has insurance has a potential for a claim everybody in every state has insurance so um, we're not necessarily primarily focused on, on daily business. It has just become a mainstay um, and a way for us to, uh, to find new people to feel the need when we do have a cat and to keep those folks with something to do and a fork in their mouth um, until the cat hits, you know. Our focus is really twofold. We don't, we don't abandon one for the other or we don't put one above the other. 
Uh, one is more consistent throughout the year, and then cats happen when they happen. But uh, you know, we are we're staffed and, and ready for both. But you know, daily is something that's that's always there. You know, there's a couple of different ways to jump into this industry. One is you get thrown into the fire because a big event happened. If you were just interested in going, they were interested in sending you to see if you would work. So if if you come into the industry in a big event like that. You're thrown into the fire, you know, you don't get a lot of time, you don't get a lot of mentorship or anything like that, but it's, the, it's, it's a way to guarantee that you've got work if you can do the work, if you can handle it and stick. The other way is uh, a little slower and a little bigger grind and a little more painful and you've got to find a way to get a, a mentor and, and, and learn the business uh, before you get that opportunity to be involved in the business. And sometimes maybe that's on the staff side you know, where, where there's a job available, and sometimes it's on the independent side. As far as where to live, you know, those are decisions that individuals have to make based on a lot of factors. But obviously, uh, more population means uh, more uh, claims because there's more people. There's a lot of different ways, you know, to skin this cat, and you have to find a way that works for you. Well, one of the things that we're excited about, we just brought on a new executive vice president. He's a, a name that's well known in the in the industry, uh, Robert Euler has been uh, vice president uh, at a couple of our competitors and uh, has done a great job building businesses uh, or building business for those businesses in the past and we're excited about. I mean, we've been growing on a steady basis for six years. I mean, there's not been a year where we didn't grow. Uh, it's incumbent upon us and, and we have put in place um, and are putting in place a, a means for making sure that we are properly staffed to handle the business we expect Bob and his team to bring to us. So 2019 should be a big year, which means the conference in 2020 will be a big conference. So it, this is an exciting time to be a part of Mid-America. I, I can't imagine a, a more exciting time in our history, and I can't imagine a more exciting place right now in this industry. Question of the day, if you're writing for a flood cut in a room with drywall, how would you handle a hand texture in your estimate? Let us know in the comments where you're watching this video. And for much more information about kicking butt as an independent property adjuster, head on over to adjustertv.com. If you got value from this video, you can help me create more videos just like this by hitting the round subscribe button. Wondering what to watch next? Check out these videos. And as always, thank you so much for watching and have a great storm.